Okay, this question is pretty long and a lot of times um, kids who are not confident about solving such questions, they do panic a little. Some children admitted that they panic a lot. Yeah, so solving maths questions um, to, and to solve it well, we really need the child to stay calm. Not easy, especially uh, you realize that there's not enough time and then you still have about three to four questions to go and it's only about another 15 minutes more. So sometimes when we advise kids to do certain things, um, we also need to remember the actual exam scenario and it may not be that simple compared to the particular time that you advise your child and it could be at home, um, very safe environment and 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 she knows that mom is her greatest supporter and sometimes um she can stay calm then but it doesn't mean that she can do the same thing uh, in exam so in any case um we just want to really help children with with a fixed process in solving questions so yes she may panic or feel anxious but the solving process is ultimately the same. Okay. So let's see. Okay, this is just something that is um extra. I feel just introducing the characters, then Enzo and Frazo. Then had had two fifths of what uh Enzo had. So we do the same thing, we link. Okay. Yeah, this is some steps that you must get your, your child to do. Um, Enzo had six times of what Fraser had. Um, you can just put six over one. So six to one, okay? Then after and after then lost some of his game cards in s school. He had, okay, I want to use another color. Um, so he represents D and then link to one and seven link to E plus F. Okay. The three boys had 280 cuts in the end. Okay. So um, this is my first time looking at this question. So I'm going to see from fresh eyes and Let's see where it goes. Yeah, and a lot of times, uh, even as adults, we may not solve it straight away. Um, or we may not be able to get our answer straight away. But I think the right mindset to have is to keep an open mind. And sometimes um, we just have to move one step at a time to find the answer. Yeah, and yes, sometimes we may not get the answer straight away. But it will reveal more more um how should i put it more more proof or more information to help us to solve and sometimes we need to release um take some steps to see the whole forest to see the whole picture okay so to start normally when you see so many um three identities or three names and then they have comparison i really want to use ratio because ratio is much easier and you can see that they want you to use ratio. So they want you to find ratio, okay, um, at first. So this gives you some idea on what approach to take. Okay. And again, um, ratio is not a concept. Ratio is a topic. Yeah, okay. So let's start. Okay. At first, then is to E is to F. Okay, in this order, D, E, F. Yeah, so make it organized. Then 2 is to 5. Then 6 is to 1 from here, okay? From here, 6 is to 1. Then um, N, we have... Let's see what we have. D is to E plus F. 
Again, this is not algebra. This is just to cut it short. Uh, you can write in full. Enzo and plus phrasal. Okay, it's really up to you. Okay, and then uh, one, two, seven. Okay, the, and the thing that I like to use different colors is that it makes it easier to see. So when you explain to your child, you can also use various colors. Okay, so, so D change, okay, for me to take notes. And so I will say that this one, no change. Okay, and it has to be the same, right? Yeah, same, okay. In this case, this is the same. Same. So, let's see how to find the ratio. So, okay, right now I haven't started to solve yet. Yeah, because I just want to really harvest the information here. Um, as you can see, the whole, almost the whole story sum can be summarized into this. Okay, so can you see that I have to make this the same. So 5 times 6, 6 times 5, times 5, times 5, sorry, times 6 here. So we have 12, 30, 5. Yeah, this in a sense, I will call it um, repeated identity concepts, okay? So one of the concepts here is repeated identity. Yeah, so my answer, I will write 12, 30 is to 5 okay then next there's a part b to it yeah this is worth this is worth two marks so pretty straightforward and the child should be able to finish it like under um, one minute or two minutes then next how many game cards how many game cards did then lose in school so the idea the thing is this should be the same so this is 35 which is E plus F. Yeah, so to make them the same, I want to change this to 35. So times 5, here must times 5 as well. Okay, so this is actually this. So can you see that? Okay, I want to change color uh, to make it easier for you to see. Can you see that from 12, which is at first, and 5, which is after, there's a drop in seven units yeah and right now i'm still stuck because there's i haven't did you realize that i haven't um used any numbers yet and all these are just um ratio and units there's no real number like um like 280 i haven't used this yet and it's a good thing because i know that it's time for me to use so 280 is total yeah okay so i need to write down 40 units so 40 units is equals to 280 and it's given okay 280 and one u is um seven hope i'm right okay yeah so sometimes even as adults we do get um some careless mistakes yeah and when we are too fast in calculating and we assume that we are right okay so 280 divided by 40 is 7 yep just confirmed and then uh how many games game cards did then lose in the end so this is what we want to find so 7u equals to 7 times 7 equals to 49 so the answer is 49 yeah and i think one of the things that um we want all children to to be good at is their time stable. Yes, uh, if a child knows time time stable very well, it's a good thing. Yeah. However, sometimes there are some kids who still need to use calculator for seven times seven, and it really gets them stuck. Um, and it's and it um slows them down. Okay. So I hope that this this um question can really help you to better understand the how to go about solving it and in fact you realize that um, all my colored lines are all my thought process and um, if you want to really uh, find one way to improve in how you teach your child I thought that um, the biggest takeaway from here is all these colored lines 
and getting your child to do this eventually as well. And because by doing this, it can actually help your child in knowing and in telling you which are the very important keywords and numbers. Okay, so hope you learned something from here. Thanks.